The Narrative Pyramid The narrative pyramid form of writing tells a story in order of time. We write what happened first, then what happened next, then what happened last. Another way to describe it is that the least important information comes first. That is followed by information a little more important, and the story eventually ends with the most important information, or the exciting conclusion, each piece of information supporting the previous piece. For example, a driver fell asleep at the wheel. His car crashed on the Bay Bridge. The bridge became impassable. Next, authorities closed the bridge. Next, the bridge remained closed. Next, tomorrow's commute will be chaotic. This is the way most people write when asked to relate a personal experience, as you were asked to do in your first assignment in this course. This is perfectly acceptable for feature writing, such as a report on the day in the life of a political candidate, or a character study on NPR, or a profile of a baseball player during a sportscast. It can work very well as a way to build drama or tension, but it doesn't work for news stories printed on paper or on a website. Here's why. Throughout the history of newspapers, and now in the early history of websites, more stories are written and submitted than can be squeezed into the day's pages. An editor must decide which stories get in and which are discarded or delayed for a future edition. Even after that triage, many of the stories that remain are longer than they need to be. There just isn't enough room for all the words. So selected stories must be made shorter. How does an editor do that? Ask the author to rewrite it, discard every second sentence, throw out every second paragraph. No. You begin to drop sentences starting with the very last one. If the story is too long, you drop the second from last sentence. If it's still too long, you ditch the third from last, and so on. This is the way it's always been done because it requires the least work on the part of the writer and the editor, and it can be done quickly. In the pressure cooker that is a newsroom, quicker is better. You can see what this would mean for the narrative style in which the least important facts appear first and the most important facts appear in the final sentence. If you shorten such a story, you're always cutting the most important sentences. This is the genesis of the inverted pyramid. The inverted pyramid. In the previous session, we discussed trimming a story by dropping sentences one at a time, beginning with the last one. Professional editors do this to fit all the news that's fit to print on paper or on a web page. As a consequence, saving the most important information for the last sentence, telling a story in order of occurrence, what we call the narrative pyramid, ensures that the consumer will miss out on important stuff when any trimming needs to be done. There is another kind of trimming that's problematic for the narrative pyramid, and this one affects electronic media. This is the trimming conducted by the audience. As a listener, you often miss the finish of a story on the radio because you need to turn the car off, or you must answer the telephone, or you just don't hear it. In this case, too, if the most important facts appear late in your report, the audience is likely to be shorted. One answer is the inverted pyramid. The inverted pyramid is the standard for newspapers and radio and television broadcasts. This style tells the facts in descending importance. The most important information comes first. The second most important comes next, and so on. Reconstructing our earlier example, in an inverted pyramid, the morning commute will be chaotic because the bridge is closed, because a car crash is blocking one of the lanes, because the driver of that car fell asleep. In this way, the audience is always assured the most essential facts, even when an editor slashes from the bottom up, or when the iPod battery dies in the middle of a podcast. The Modern Diamond even the inverted pyramid has issues. In it, it is possible to begin with a sentence that contains the most important fact, yet is not very interesting, or that leaves out the answer to a question that is sure to be raised in the audience's mind. For this reason, the time-honored pyramid has been resurrected for modern electronic media. The current standard for electronic media is a kind of diamond or hard lead pyramid. This style is similar to the narrative pyramid, but it adds something special at the beginning, a wrap-up of all the essential who, what, when, where, and why. Think of it as a narrative, not the inverted, the narrative pyramid, with a cherry on top. Continuing with our example, the Bay Bridge is closed this morning because a crash occurred because of a sleeping driver. Witnesses tell police that the car began to drift from the outside lane as it left the toll plaza westbound. It struck a truck carrying a load of house paint, setting both the paint and the car afire. The driver suffered minor burns. He managed to stop the car safely, but the smoke and flames made all the lanes of the bridge impassable, and so on. Notice that everything important to the listener appears right in that first sentence. This style can end the story with a forecast or a prediction of consequences, but the audience can afford to miss even that. 
Two things make this style attractive and useful. The audience can leave at any time and know the essential facts because those facts all appear in the first sentence. Yet the writer gets to tell a nice narrative story as well once past that first sentence. So you can use the narrative pyramid as long as you begin with a good, strong lead sentence.